okay so I've just picked up at the shop I've got one box from Amazon even though the Amazon email says my porta potty plus three items so I asked the fellow if there was any more boxes and he says no so maybe it's all in one box I don't know uh, hopefully it's all in the box anyway I'll put it in and I'm on my way up to the supermarket Lexi will like this because it'll warm her up she needs her battery needs charging so we'll see that and I've got lots of things to mess about with up here so it'll be quite good fun I'm constantly disappointed with the world I mean the man in there he's a it's not the guy that I like he was a grumpy sod practically threw the parcel in my face but there we go onwards and upwards I'll talk to you in a bit going on the motorway now so I uh, don't want to talk when I'm on the motorway so I'll talk in a bit so here I am turning into the big shopping centre location so I'm going to go down I'm not going to go into Asda I'm going to go down to the big car park and just try and have a look at where everybody is and where there might be some space so here I am turning in oh there's a McDonald's drive in there everybody wants that so yeah so it's got stuff in the car park where I'm going to look first I'm actually going to go down by the Odin which I know will be closed so I'm going to go and have a look there and see how many people are parked there right, okay this is quite good there's a guy sitting in a car over there in fact there are lots of people everybody is just sat in their cars so that's annoying there was lots and lots of places to park but with so many people parked in their cars just sat in there maybe that's their escape oh yeah Dunelm's open you can go and buy your cushions I'm sure that must be very urgent so I'm going to go around here because it's a way out as well I need to feel okay about parking up you know what I mean I want to go and park where it's quiet but then that seems a bit strange doesn't it that you park where it's quiet <laughs> you see I want to go and park down there where it's really really quiet and there's no one around well it's probably not a good idea I'm probably just gonna I'm thinking of heading back to the car park I can't decide what to do I'm gonna drive up here a bit I knew this was going to be my nemesis I really need to look at these videos again and find out how you guys have parked when it's really busy because I'm struggling with this I'm gonna put you on hold for a minute until I make a decision I'm just gonna drive around for a bit okay I think I might have found some I've come down here which is back on the industrial state but I, I know it. it goes on to the Wirral Park and there are a lot of people who have parked their cars and they will have gone for a walk um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the roundabout and I'm going to go and park so I'm just going to start off by just parking um, and seeing how I feel so there's a caravan thing here so I'm just going to park in front of it here okay this is my start of parking what I'm going to do now is hop in the back and see how I feel about that so again talk to you in a minute okay so this is the weirdest sensation I need to probably lock my car door but seeing as I can see all around me I won't worry about this too much so <laughs> I've got in the back and I've forgotten I've got my <laughs> just eat 
her bag there, which I've got to shove somewhere, probably in the front. Um, and I just want to show you if I can, if it'll pick it up because I know it's face mode. This is how I'm stuffed in the back. I'm going to do another camera mode in a minute. Okay, so this is a quick video of me being in the back of my car. I've got all the seats up and everything still, the boots back there. It's just as if I'd got out in the car and come out for the day. So I am now going to potter with my bits and pieces and see if I can sort myself out a little bit more um, stability. I need to bring my bag down because people can see a lot from the front as they come past the front. So, um, yeah, you see, just all this stuff to learn, isn't there? I mean, you know, they're looking in the front as they're coming down. So they can probably see me in the back. So I do need that front screen. Maybe once I've got that on, I'll feel a lot better about not being seen. Okay, this finding somewhere to park thing is really difficult. I'm actually going to move on because I feel very vulnerable and open and people can see me. I'm going to go and find somewhere in a car park. So I'll come back to you in a bit when I found somewhere. Okay, I could have walked, uh, driven around forever. But I've decided to go into the main car park. I was going to park where that guy was before, but then you see all these cameras, don't you? So I'm, I'm trying to actually take a picture of the outside, not my face. So there's Donelm and SCS. I don't know if it can see that far because it's on the other camera, on my face camera. Um, but basically I decided that I just needed to park up for now. And even if I just sit in the back and do absolutely nothing for an hour, that's what I'll do because I just need to uh, be a bit braver. I'm a right blooming coward, aren't I? Um, so I'm just going to unwrap my box, Amazon box at the moment, and potter in the back. Someone just walked past there. See, I don't think they can see in the back, but I think they can see in the front. But I've parked so nobody can go past the front now. So unless they come and park at the side of me, they can't see me. So I'm just going to potter. Um, with my boxes now and I'll come back to you later. I thought it would be really dead because it's a building site and we used to be able to walk through here but it got closed off so I think I might just park here. So I parked up and I'm going to switch you off now because I'm going to go on my other camera inside my boot. So guys I'm sat in the back here I've just opened the, um, taking the thing out of the bag, out of the box, and I'm now going to open it, and I'll show you the next bit, so that's the bit going into the back seat. Um, it's the wrong side, but it's best, I think. I'll think about this for a second. Straight away it's felt weird just getting in the back and trying to find somewhere to sit, because I've got the seats down now, so it's like... What are you doing sitting in the back of your car? Because if I was sitting in a seat in the back of my car, I wouldn't look so bad, would I? So I'm just going to put this seat up. And I've put that seat up. And I'm going to find my hairbed. I'm going to sit in this seat <laughs> and I'm going to try and put my airbed up without being seen. I think once I have the front windows covered and maybe even just the big window, that front window, I might feel better. I am now going to potter with my airbed and see if I can get to blow it up while sat in this seat. seats jumping out. So I've moved um, seats. Things I want to use this as my bed. I've um, I've moved seats. I'm sat in a double one now and I'm going to open my camp bed. I don't think there's any way I can stand it up to watch me do this. Put it there like that for now. See what happens.
So this is the camp bed. See to summit. And here at the other end is the blow up bag which that you pull out and this is then your pumper upper so this um, attaches to my bed so I'm doing the bed there's the pumper upper bitty I just need to get it all unfolded I'm going over to the back seat what I'm going to do now is turn the camera off because I've run out of filming otherwise so I'm just going to attach that to that see if I can get some air in the pump sack and see how I go from there talk to you in a bit um, blow me um, bag up now still feels, feels quite like you lie on it I don't know anyway I've got to give that a go it's cold and and um, plasticky so definitely got to put some blankets underneath there so I've got to get some more blankets in here um, when I'm going to sleep the night I'll get some stuff put away now stuff ready to go back in the house the flat whatever you know where I live and um, arrange myself for um, staying at another table with, with everything left in the back now I must take a video of that so that's my bed goes down there that's the space I've got at the moment with a bag in there I've put some stuff in the side pockets down the side there can't really see it but I have um, so then it's a question of adjusting the space isn't it for where you live in so I quite like this fact that I can sit here um, even though it's a double seat but well, I'll look at that another day <laughs> gummy knee so um, I'm going to tidy up and think about what to do next. Okay, let me quickly show you what I've done. So I've pumped the bag up and I've got to look into this because there was a stage where it just wouldn't pump anymore and I don't know if that's right or not or whether I'm just doing it wrong. So <clears throat> pump the pad up, covering it with um, pillows and everything at the moment so it can't be seen stuff underneath so that's it but it's very tight there when I take the cushions and everything away I don't know whether I can actually sleep there because that's how it'll look so I've got it going all the way down there and I've got to sleep in this bit just a quick thing in case you I didn't do a video on that so here I am at the end of everything um, thinking about going home I just want to do a quick video of how everything looks in the back now. So I've got my bed there, I've got the double seat up, I've got my bed there. Uh, behind the double seat is um, a couple of bags of my stuff that I brought with the cooker in and the table and taken all my coffee out and everything, so that's back there. Um, so that's my sleeping area. Once you take your blue Amazon bag off and the, the blanket, then that's my bed underneath. I think I'll have to put a blanket on the bed or maybe a sheet so that's just for future anyway so just wanted to do a quick update of what I'm looking at and what I'm doing so I'm going to sit here and look through my notes and just decide what I'm going to do next a nice quiet down here probably quite a good place to park and sleep I don't know maybe too quiet I don't know what you guys think about that I don't know whether you think it's a good to park in an industrial state when it's where it's a very dead location or wherever I should park where there's some sort of 24 hour ins and outs going on so nobody will think about coming to break into the car okay so I've just gone and tried out a couple of things so I had to try lying on that bed to see if it was soft enough no it's going the other way um to see if it was soft enough it felt a bit hard I don't know whether I've blown it up enough but the nozzle didn't seem to want to take in any more air, so I'll have to have a read of that when I get home. Um, so I had to lie on the bed, and I think I can do it with just that skinny bit there. See if I can rest a couple of hours and make a cup of coffee, which is what I was going to do today, but it didn't pan out like that because I didn't think it through. You've got to, you've got to be brave, and you've got to learn all these things, and you've got to learn 
to um, do things stealthy and think about where to park and how you're going to do it. So I've done quite a lot. I'm really actually pleased. Um, I just thought it was going to be really easy. Just come here, uh, set up my back, sit there, open my table up, have a cup of coffee. I mean, I bought the gas and everything with me. But it's in the back now and it's ready to be used. I think tomorrow then will be another day and I'll see what I decide to do on that. So it's the time is beep, 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 14.49. Uh, so nearly three o'clock, so I'll have been out 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3, uh, two and a half hours, so I might decide to go home now. I'll think about it. Talk to you in a bit. just actually want to say, I don't actually want to go home. I love being out here. I'm loving the fact that I could just be sorted and heading off somewhere right now, so <laughs> it is a feeling of independence. It's very strange. I don't want to go home because I don't want to go back to the flat because you just go in that door and you're locked away again. So, um, I am thinking about what to do now for the next hour. Get back to you. Well, guys, I'm back home now and um, I didn't look forward to coming home. And I said hello to someone as I got out of the car because they were walking their dog and they just looked at me like, you know. I'm not talking to you. So it reminds me how much I hate community life, whatever it's called. Anyway, thing is, I sat in the car and I didn't hate it. I was constantly planning and working out. And at no time did I think, oh my God, this is too little and I can't deal with it and I'll never live here. I was planning all the time. So I'm pretty certain that I am truly, truly up for this um, because it's a major change. I mean, even if I get a job in March, the census job, I'll still be looking to just save that money, put it away. And in the meantime, I'll get my stuff sold and look at moving into my car um, over the next couple of months and get everything sorted. So it's still on. I, I enjoyed going out there. Um, at the end of it, I did try driving around seeing where I would park up for the night and I really struggled with that. Side streets with cars, didn't really feel that was, you know, like I would be noticed. I think I would be noticed more in the UK than I would like you guys do in America. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, they didn't feel good. In the end, um, I drove to one of the industrial estates that I've parked up before and went round there and I thought, yeah, I could park here the night. And there's also a big Porsche um, garage place that sells Porsche cars and all of that. And I thought I could park outside there. That would be okay as well. So um, I think it's the hardest thing is finding somewhere to sleep at night. And I think you have to plan it. You really have to find um, the place that you want. And then you have to go back there ready to just get out your car go for a walk, I reckon, so people think that you've left, then sneak back in your car with everything covered up anyway and just don't move again till very early the next morning when you're on your way um, for places like this. Um, obviously, if you're out in the country and you can find some land to park on, you might be okay. That's something I'll find out in the future. But just driving around where I live today, it was very, very hard to find somewhere. So... Um, that's going to, I think, be one of the hardest things. So my next plan now is, I've left everything in the car. My next plan now is to do this again, um, but to park up. Once I've got all my coverings, my window coverings, um, to park up and stay and get in the back um, and go from there. Maybe use the coffee table and stuff again. I don't know. Didn't get to use it this time, but um, I want to give that a go next. Um, but I definitely liked being out there and I didn't want to come home except for the fact that I'm starving and dying for a pee. That was it. So that's it. I'll talk to you again next time. Take care. Bye.